My name is John Statton and I'm from the University of Western Australia's Oceans Institute and I'm down here at Jervis Bay with a group of students from South Fremantle Senior High School. And what we're trying to do here with the students is to re-establish these plants back into this area and we're doing this um, using an experimental approach. This is what we're planting here. This is Posidonia australis, a large endemic seagrass species which grows quite extensively across the Western Australian and Southern Australian coastline. The experiment that we're running here today and for the next um, few months with the South Fremantle Senior High School students, we'll look at transplanting Posidonia australis into bare sandy areas and also into uh, remnant seagrass mat areas. This particular species doesn't grow very fast. We'll be Document the changes. Yeah, we'll be documenting the presence or absence of the plants, so the survival of these plants over time. Um, and we'll be looking across the two different treatments. Seagrasses provide a myriad of ecosystem services to our near shore environment. Some of these include uh, habitat for fishes, especially commercially important fishes. They're also very important for stabilising the nearshore sediments. And seagrasses are also very important by buffering our coastline from erosion. The seagrasses are very good at sequestering carbon and this is for several reasons. Seagrasses have very high primary productivity. As we can see here with Posidonia australis, it has these very long luscious leaves which grow in very high density out here in the ocean. When these leaves actually break away, they leave behind a leaf sheath, which leaves behind this very fibrous, uh, very low quality carbon behind in the sediments. And it's this carbon here, which actually works to form this mat, which we see out there underneath the seagrass sediments. And this mat gets built up over many, many years, decades and up to centuries. These sediments are very slow to decay that organic material, or that carbon material, because it is very low in oxygen. So the reason why seagrasses are so good at sequestering carbon from the atmosphere is that they are very slow to decompose that organic material, that carbon material which stays in the sediments. These students are undertaking a unique way of sequestering carbon from our atmosphere by planting seagrasses back into areas where seagrasses have been lost.